Let's also, we're going to look at how to work with Premiere. Um, and then in a following lesson, we'll look at how to do a pipeline from Premiere to After Effects. So to start with, let's make a new project. I can give it a name if you want. I'm just going to call mine Test. And a lot of this information has to do with if you're capturing directly from the camera. Uh, most of you should probably have digital video cameras, um, sometimes SLR cameras, or even sometimes people like to use their phones to shoot their video. So you already have digital files, so you won't have to worry too much about this information. So we'll skip past it for now. After you name your project and click OK, that'll open up Premiere. And uh, it seems a little daunting at first, but it's very similar to what we've worked with in After Effects in the past. Uh, right now I'm on the editing um, layout, and I recommend matching my screen until you get more comfortable with the layout of Premiere. On this left side up here will be all of our individual clips that you can select down in your timeline. And then this will be your whole sequence, which is sort of like a composition in After Effects. Here's your project panel. And there's also media browsers and libraries, effects and such that you can get to from this panel. You have your tools right here. And then here's your timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and start by importing. You can import in the same way that you would for After Effects by either double clicking down in your project panel, doing file, import, or you can just drag the files in if you want. So let me drag three files in. And I'm just going to be working from files that we've looked at before uh, when we were doing the tracking exercises and the stabilizing exercises. But I would recommend you use your own video clips for this. Uh, like with After Effects, it's a good idea to make a sequence out of your video clips. That way the sequence settings and the video clip settings match exactly. So I'm going to take, uh, let me take my single point track to start us off. And I'm going to drag it over to my timeline. You can see that it says drop media here to create sequence. Okay. And now we have a new sequence. It's going to give it the same name as our video clip, but we can always change that if you want, just by clicking on it and retyping it. I'm going to call it test again. And uh, one of the nice things about uh, After Effects is when you, or I'm sorry, uh, Premiere is when you scrub through it, it automatically lets you preview your audio and it gives you a much quicker response than After Effects does. Now let me go ahead and add a few more clips in here. I'm going to take my stabilized footage. I'm going to slider down here that'll let you um, expand or contract the scale for your time. And then I'll put my corner pin in as well. So now I'll have three whole clips that made up that lesson. So <clears throat> there's a couple of different ways that you can actually cut these together. Um, the nice thing with Premiere is that unlike After Effects, you can actually drag all three clips on the same layer. And if you wanted to shorten any of these, let's say you just want to cut a little bit off the edge. You can actually take your cursor and if you place it uh, right on the edge of each clip, you should get this red dial or this red cursor um, arrow. That'll let you actually physically drag it back, which doesn't seem to be working so well for me. It does snap a little bit, so it's going to snap to different areas. You also have the ability to make cuts in your footage. So let's say that we want to remove the middle part of this clip. What we can do is take our razor blade tool and it's a good idea to place your cursor where you want to put the cut at first. That's going to make it easier to get it right on the right time. Click once the cut. Let's move forward a little bit. Click again to cut. And then you have the ability to switch back to your selection tool. To get rid of this section in here, you would select it and hit delete. And then we need to join these again so we don't have blank video right here. And the easiest way to join this is if you actually click in between the clips, you can press delete and it'll snap it back for you. So we looked at how to import footage um, and how to start our Premiere project and also a little bit about cutting it. Uh, we're going to go into a little bit more depth in our next video uh, where we'll look at actually how to apply some effects and also how to get rid of the audio in case you want to give your own audio track to this.